Have you ever noticed when someone's saying they're going to give something away and then they just end up disappearing? Yeah, that's exactly what happened to me. Started a call, never finished it. Well, that will be corrected. This weekend, uh, I'll make the uh, GAW video. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. So many good guesses about uh, what my favorite part of that movie was and uh, a lot of good uh, good entries. Uh, I'll, I'll be surprised to see if anybody uh, ended up getting my uh, Onza and then some extra silver, but we'll see. Free silver is free silver. It's all about giving back to the community. Anyway, this week, what happened? Big load of nothing. Seems like uh, the fear and FOMO in the silver community has kind of gone by the wayside. What is it? Are all the uh, silver pumpers on vacation? Or is it just, uh, you know, we've seen this movie so many times, the, the rise and fall of silver price that uh, everybody's kind of over it. I noticed that Sal was saying, uh, Salivate Metal was saying that uh, his videos were starting to get the uh, kibosh from the YouTube algorithm. I believe it. I believe it, especially with everything going on with stocks and uh, you know other things, crypto. It seems like uh, silver became the ugly stepchild. Good, good. Uh, another surprising thing for me was uh, seeing that the American Eagles have definitely fallen off a cliff as far as the premiums. Not bad. Pretty exciting. I wish. Uh, I hope it all kind of falls off of a cliff. That way, uh, again, as the saying goes, back the truck up. Buying silver, especially during a rising price environment, seems so counterintuitive to me. But it's what happens over and over and over. Every time you see spot jump and by default premiums, people come out of the woodwork and I start hearing people say, gold and silver are such a great investment and I have to bite my tongue and uh, not to laugh in their face. No, no, they are not a good investment. You take out 2020 and uh, yeah, there, there hasn't been much of anything going on with, uh, with metals for quite a while. Do they keep up with inflation? That's debatable. The best thing about metals is if you enjoy having a physical asset, that's really all it is at the end of the day. I mean, no one can take that away from you. Well, other than at gunpoint, which probably would happen at the SHTF, but that is what it is. Now, one of the other big things that, that I've noticed is with silver and gold purchases is uh, the collectibles market. There's so much um, kind of controversy over where, whether having collectibles or high premium silver is the way to go. Now, obviously, a pure stacker is going to tell you, no, why the hell would you spend extra money on, a, uh, on anything with a higher premium when silver is silver? Now, I get that. I totally get that. But just like anything, it's kind of like saying, why would you spend more on a car? It gets you point A to point B. You know, you could buy the cheapest Kia that's out there, you know, a smart car. It's going to do what it's supposed to do. You don't need, you know, a, a Ferrari or a Porsche. You know, you can do the same thing with a smart car. No, no. You know, there's always going to be demand for nicer things, even in the SHTF. I think that's one of the things that, uh, you know, from the comments I've really gained uh, perspective on is that, even in times of um, you know hardship for many people, there's always going to be people out there with means who end up you know showing the you know deciding that they want nicer stuff and that they're able to get it. That's kind of the way of the world, right? It's part of uh, being a, in a market capitalist society. Anyway, the Incus Maples. I keep looking at these because I do want some of the. I do want the whole collection. I mean, who? Who doesn't if, if you were able to get it at uh, decent prices but each one of these is a few hundred dollars which you know most uh, stackers would be like what the why would I spend my money on that well I mean again once you see them they're actually re really really nice now the question is are they worth the price yes and no I would say the good thing about them is that they uh, they end up holding their value pretty well or increasing in value um, the key is just um, Again, like anything, you gotta take time to sell it. The other thing that I've noticed is that, um, you know, with the high premium collectible stuff, it it seems like there's always a market for it, even when the bullion market kind of dies down. You hear the, uh, you know, the silver coin dealers and all that saying, oh, you know, demand falls off a cliff and things like that. But it seems like for the collectibles, they always they're still around. The people who have money to be doing that still have money to be doing it, even though price is moving around. So I would say. You know, collectibles, numismatics, there is a place for that in your stack if you're willing to, you know, bite the bullet and pay a little extra. The, the value is, you know, the value is going to be there on the back end versus someone who tells you, oh, Eagles, you know, you're going to get your premium back. That's uh, one of the biggest lies in stacking. 
but um, no, so many interesting things going on that it's uh, it's it's funny, you know, with the recovery of the stock market, and make no mistake, the, the stock market is within a stone's throw of the all-time highs, which would surprise most people. But uh, that's how quickly things react. And remember, the market's always front run whatever is going on in the actual, you know, real environment. And they don't also necessarily reflect uh, economic activity or things like that. Those are other misnomers that people, you know, think they understand, but they really don't. But uh, I'm excited. Uh, God video coming up pretty pretty soon. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Uh, I'll I'll make that video and uh, end up giving away some silver. Again, my loss, your gain.